Hello, welcome to episode 198. Um, previous vid, we finished off WRC 3 on the PS2. Uh, now you're staring at my Xbox 360 home screen because we are about to start, as I promised in the last video. Uh, reading, reading, reading. The game. Aha. We're about to start Gears of War 2. So, uh, it's the first time for me as well. Let's get straight into it. I shall pre warn you the batteries on my control pad are dying. I have plenty more. Um, but I didn't see that until just now, so. Hopefully, they survive long enough till we get to the gameplay. Also, when your batteries are dying on 360, you can actually restart the control pad three times before it dies completely. So it saves you a bit of money. Just so you know. Alright. Here's War 2. Uh, yeah. Solo campaign. Casual, normal, hardcore, insane. You now have to pull off a headshot. <laughs> just for the purposes of the video so we can get through it it began as always with the desire for power the need to conquer the hunger to consume inevitably this led to conflict humanity fought an endless battle against us until it was forced to unite against a power far greater than it had ever been. But even united, humanity left only destruction in its way. Despite their best efforts at survival, the humans of Sierra continued to march blindly to their imminent doom. Unaware that their misguided attempts at retaliation we're only leading them ever closer to extinction. They had thought us crippled by their weapons of mass destruction. But to survive is to endure and prosper. And we have most certainly survived. The last bastion of humanity. A final desperate defense in the face of impossible odds. In a way, I pity them. But humanity, as always, brought this war upon itself. Okay. Essentially, all hope is gone. This is the last line of defense. Never ends. They're getting bolder. Those gears were guarding Pomeroy Depot. Damn, that's just down the road. Exactly. They're moving deeper every day. But they obviously haven't met me yet, have they? Haha. <laughs> Thanks, Anya. Good luck, all right? Sergeant Phoenix! Are you Sergeant Phoenix? Delta Squad? <laughs> I'm your new trainee. And Galena's grass by the looks of it. Time to train the Rook? Uh, uh, on Yeah. Lucky me. Go easy on the kid, okay? Private Ben Carmine, sir! Reporting for duty, sir! Drop the sir shit, kid. 
We're not that polite out here. Come on, let's go. Oh yeah, welcome to Delta. Yeah, a little bit of training won't hurt us. It's an honor to serve with you, sir. I hear that you're the one who... Yes, sir. Uh, Sergeant Phoenix. Must be good to know you're fighting with a pendulum war hero. He's just Marcus to me, man. Name's Dom, by the way. Good to meet you, sir. Uh, uh, Dom, you see action in the war, too? Rook, we can talk history later. Concentrate on your training now. I don't need you getting religious out there. Pardon? Holy? Oh, um, <laughs> full of holes. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> All right. First things first, Rook. Stay focused on your mission. Best way is to check your TACCOM before the bullets fly. Hold LB. Mine says teach the Rook the golden rule. Oh, uh, I know. Do unto others as you would have... Not out here, kid. Golden rule of the gears is take cover or die. You know how to get in the cover, Rook? Show me. Okay. Keep your head down. Eyes open. Check your surroundings. Always keep your head down like that in the firefight. We'll be fine. Okay, people, let's move out. Yo, you said your name is Carmine? You got a brother was a gear? Yeah, all four of us. Well, three now. You know one of them? I served with Anthony. He was a good soldier. I respect. Thanks. Just good to know he died a hero's death. Uh, yeah. Right. Hey, Marcus, check this shot. <laughs> We're shooting glass nice bottles. One. I'll call that raise you five. <laughs> Helps if you aim, Marcus. Doesn't help your odds of winning. You could hit those in your sleep with the rifle. Come on, use your pistol, man. some more killer bottles up ahead. <laughs> what the hell was that? Probably just a stray dog. No, no, uh, it was bigger than that. It looked like a, a weird monkey dog thing. To look at your squad mates or other points of interest, press and hold Y. Wretch! Shoot it! Hey, that's it! That's the monkey dog thing I saw! <laughs> you hit him? Don't think so. Looks like he got away. Mon you ever seen that before? Yeah, but they usually travel in packs. All right. Stay alert and use cover. The other ones are probably around here somewhere. It's a monkey dog thing. <laughs> nice man, old Rook. Not an easy maneuver to make in full gear. Nothing here. Maybe they're in the alley. Let's check it out. Grab a few of those grenades. I got a feeling we're gonna need them. Damn, someone needs to do an ammo sweep around here. Nice. Wretch! What'd you call that thing? A monkey dog? I got a special bone for it. <laughs> Monkey dog. <laughs> Boom. Awesome. Wait, there's another one. Uh, watch out.
Yeah, right. Pull that shit again, Rook, and you're gonna get some unexpected chainsaw training. Thanks, man. Dom, wanna get that checked out? Nah, just needs a few stitches. I can wait. Let's get in there. I'm not quite sure what happened to them to make them go down, but oh well. It's certainly a massive graphics enhancement from the first Fire one. Fire up your lancers, Delta. Tapi. Push the cars down the hill. No. Ooh, that's a uh, quiet vehicle. It's making the whole bridge shake. Whoa! All this damage came from your grenade? Sure as hell didn't come from yours. <laughs> Alright, so that's what happened. Nothing up here. Just some rats. <clears throat> Let's head back to the hospital. that way. It's a bit harder, it's the same as the first game, it's a bit harder to look around and explore everything simply because you run so slowly. I mean this is full run. <laughs> very very slow but I suppose we are in full battle gear so. Serious. Anya, you still here? Still here, Marcus. Tell Dom I may have a plan to decide. Anya, what'd you find? A lead on a Django. I'll fill you in later, Dom. I have to get back to control. All right, Anya. Good luck. Damn it! Kill these goddamn bombs. Let's move! Ty, good to see you. What are we looking at? Locust Reef. Follow me. Lucas got some serious sex coming in here like this. Doubt it has anything to do with courage. They just don't realize they've been sent on a suicide gun. Maybe they're just desperate. What do you mean? Maybe the light mass bomb hit him harder than we thought. Or maybe something else is going down in the hollow. I don't know. I hope we don't face any more berserkers. Because <laughs> that was my it's least... Up, Delta. Some of these patients have rust loaded. Is, uh, is my least favorite part of the first one because <laughs> it was pretty scary. Okay. Take position along these windows. I took the far side. Okay, Delta, I'm back online. We have confirmed Locust's presence in the hospital. I repeat, Locusts are in the hospital. Yeah, well, now we've got a power outage, too. I'm on it. I'll keep you posted. Control out. Hold fire till they're right below us. We want to get as many of them in the courtyard as we can. Both of those supplies are actually fuel tanks, Delta. Part of the ambush. Here they come. 
Get ready. Tweedledee, tweedledum, tweedledoo, tweedledah, da 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 da. Just, uh, just a few more, just a few more, a few more. <laughs> yeah, eat that! Control! Where's the power? Almost there, Delta. You got me. Door should be open now. Thanks, Control. Delta out. What'd you say these guys got? Rust lung. Emotion sickness. The cases have been popping up all over since the light mass bombing. It's a horrible way for a warrior to die. Uh, contagious? They say it's not, but I keep my distance. No argument here. I like to check everywhere. I was just doing a full circle on myself. Okay. Time to start getting messy. They're trying to bomb back. Keep it. Yeah. Chopper out there, just to the left. You see it through the window. So, what is it facing? War. Apart from a very wet looking road. Helicopter going down. The helicopter did go down. Darn. Wish I'd stayed to watch that. Really sounds horrible when you get hit with a bullet. Change the construction. <laughs> They've changed the control scheme around a little bit from the first game. Reloads in a different place and blah 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 blah, but nothing too confusing.
the streets around the hospital now, Delta. Get ready. Obviously not going now either. What do we have a... Uh... Ah, there it is. The old dodge. I just... Uh, what? Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> I might expect it's something relatively huge. Reaper. I was right here. Um. Where's it gone? Oh, they killed that pretty easily. I didn't even get a shot in. fire effect. Surgery A, surgery B. <laughs> Damn, Marcus, see that? Grub went face first in the salad. Ty is mental. Little bookshelf. I do hope I'm going the right way. Yeah. <laughs> 
Nice guy just has. Chopper seriously took it. Proclamation notice of curfew. In the pre, in, in the first game, we had to find um, necklaces with cogs on. I guess now we're looking at these things. Due to recent locust encroachment into Jacinto, cog soldiers will be enforcing a mandatory curfew every night until further notice. All Jacinto citizens are encouraged to remain indoors whenever possible, and are ordered to be off the streets by nightfall. After dusk, cog soldiers have orders to shoot on sight. Keep in mind that locusts and humans can be hard to differentiate at night. Any citizen found to be in violation of this curfew faces arrest, imprisonment, and or possible injury. Do your part to help make Jacinto a safer place for us all. Saved to your war journal for future viewing. It's always good to have a poke around. Take a while, you're gonna have to defend yourself until they do open it. Right? Yeah, thought so. Just learn at the wrong time that you can actually spin on the spot. jump over the barrier. Chappy chappy. Wow, okay. Okay. Mm. I like the glow of locust blood in this light. I've got a sick mind. The uh, chainsaw on the gun is uh just as difficult and annoying to use as uh, uh, it was in the first one. Yeah. Just to prove. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, the batteries are actually dead this time. Control pad is not switching back on. Okay, there you go. So you can normally switch it. You can normally switch it on again three times before they die completely. And that was time number one. What the hell are you doing here, Rook? Area I was guarding got too hot, Sergeant. These skiers rounded me up to fight, sir. So why aren't you out there fighting? We're reloading, sir. I still don't have that trick down. Better learn fast. Let's get out there, Delta. Something dodgy about him. Which 
check your objectives to see the directions of squad leaders. He seems a bit dodgy. Um, don't know if I trust him. Yay! baby's mine. Thank you very much. <laughs> He's mental. So I'm wrecking. I'll oh, kill him before he gets back up. Control, this is Delta. Enemy threat eliminated. Over. Copy that, Delta. Everything okay on your end? Yeah, it was close, but I got out in time. What'd you find? I... Tell me, Anya. Don't bullshit me. The Jane Doe I mentioned? She fixed the description, but... Well, looks like she was released a few days ago. We don't have any info after that. There's gotta be another lead, or... Or something, right? I'm sorry, Dom. That's it. I'm sorry. Damn it! Not again! I lost her again! Ah! God damn it! Copy that, Anya. Delta out. Dom, you okay? Just. 
I'll catch up with you in a sec, Marcus. All right? Yeah. Whatever you need. Guys, let's go. Humans are no strangers to war. After all, we've been fighting for as long as we can remember. War is all we know. In the past, we fought for emulsion. We fought for country. We fought for freedom. But all that changed after e -day. For 15 years, we've been fighting for our very survival against inhuman, genocidal monsters. But it is a fight we cannot continue. Humanity faces extinction unless we end this war now. So why land down, Sergeant? Why not just drill down here? Jacinto's the one place it can't dig through, and land down's a perfect spot to hit him on their own turf. Heard there's a shitload of grubs there, Sergeant. More like ten shitloads. <laughs> we had hoped the light mass bombing would decimate the Locust Torch. But they survived, and have returned stronger than ever. They brought with them a force that can sink entire cities. Even Jacinto, our last beacon of hope through all these dark days, is now at risk. Soon we'll have nothing left to defend. And that means we have only one option. Attack. Oh. Exciting stuff. <laughs> that was a really good build up. Oh, yeah, I like the dude. I'm a red, I'm a sweet thing. You a conscript. We got some charge once we took the life motors in. Family got the grocery, but daddy got the trip. I a bitch, I think. Delta Bear here. Apparently, I'm riding on Maryland. <laughs> Good hunting, guys. Control, this is Delta. We're aboard Ring 314 and are heading out now. Roger that, Delta. We're good to go. There is always a tough nut redneck right, somewhere. Settle in, Delta. Got a long ride to land on.
They're really cool looking machines. some of this. No grenades. Jeez.
gun? Where's my gun? Where's my gun? It's up here. his Bessie, but like, how often does Whoa. he get to use it? <laughs> Something big went down here. Delta, control here. I'm detecting serious seismic activity beneath you. Damn. I think we walk in the rest of the way. Oh, crap. Gun, 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 gun. gun. Yeah, I see them. Um, it's a broom Oh, we need a bigger gun. Crap, they're on board. Okay, and on that fantastic note heading towards this bridge, we'll call it a day here, and uh, I'll see you on the next video where we'll continue from this exact point. So I'll see you again very soon, I look forward to it. Okay, bye-bye.